for showing up. I'm going to try to make this as a uh, as cool and as fun a time as possible. So, so the title of the of the talk here is "Weight Loss This Year and Forever," because it's no fun to keep losing it and gaining it back, and losing it, and gaining it back. It's just nice to lose it and get rid of it for all time. So, to start off, I have a little four-week challenge here to so try to lose eight pounds in four weeks. So. We work on the stuff that, you know, that we're talking about in here. You could lose up to eight pounds of fat in a month. Yay! <laughs> but, but what does eight pounds look like? Oh, I don't want to see. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. Here you go. This, this, this pile right here. That's, Eight pounds of butter, right there. Okay. Wow. So, so that would feel really good to get rid of, right? <laughs> now, even less than that would still feel pretty good to get rid of, wouldn't it? So even if you don't get all eight pounds, if you get, let's say here, here's here's one, right here. So you so you got rid of just just a couple. If you lost half of that, if you lost four pounds in the next four weeks, that would still be a very rewarding thing, especially if you could lose it and keep it away. All right, so how do we lose eight pounds? What are the biggest factors for weight loss? I don't feel like talking about that yet. <laughs> what are not the biggest factors for, for weight loss? I'm going to go through some things, and these are maybe some things that you may have done and things like that. I'm not saying you're bad for trying these. It's just they're all tricky little little things that are out there, all different options here. So, so one of the one of the big ones there is the the ab crunch machines. Those ones that say all you have to do is do some crunches, and you'll have a six pack abs, you'll have a flat stomach, just just by doing like two minutes of crunches every day, or actually some of them even say like you know every other day or something. But uh, yeah, that's, I mean, when you really think about it, I mean, that doesn't even, even really make sense. But, but they still advertise it. And what they do with those ab crunch machines is actually that it's a program. They have a little nutrition thing that comes with them very often, a little booklet. And you have to follow that too. And that's how they lost weight. Not because they were crunching, but actually because they ate that way. Now, there's some other things. The, uh, the pills, the Hoodia and Ally. Ally is kind of my favorite right now, just because the idea of it is it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, 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 there's not a whole lot to, to back up the fact that it's going to help you lose weight. I mean, they, they claim that there's research, but it's it's not real research. The stuff that's being done in, in medical places is not really is not going. Yes, this is definitely something. It's like I mean. Maybe it's that, maybe it's because they worked out also. I mean, you know, all, that, all that stuff kind of goes in. There was no like clear, like, oh my gosh, yes. And Ally, Ally is a really fun one. Um, I actually saw a commercial on it uh, recently. It's, the, uh, it's that pill that like blocks some fat absorption. Have you guys, have you guys seen that? It blocks, it blocks like, like one quarter of your, your fat absorption. So I mean, it sounds great if it's like you absorb less fat. Wonderful. But the only problem is, I mean, Things that don't get absorbed by our body pass through, and so so you start getting if you, if you eat a lot of fat, you end up with stomach cramps and all these things like that. But also, you you kind of excrete oil and and stuff, you know. Yeah, right. And so and so really, what all that really does is almost like it's a penalty for eating fat. <laughs> so, and, that, and so it stops you from eating as much fat. <laughs> I ate too much fat. Yeah, I have a coworker who watched this program, and she said exactly what you did. Because she said you, the reason it works is that if you don't eat fat, it's too painful, and she would say embarrassing to eat fat. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Because the but you, you know when. The non-digestive material wants to come out. Very nicely said. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a whole lot of warning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
So, so some of those, some of those things, and to be able to launch a lot of those things out there, they don't really have to have proven anything. Uh, there's a lot of them that come out there. Oh, uh, what was it? The um, Cortis, Cortis Slim or something, I think, yeah. was one that they actually had a lawsuit over because, uh, well, because they, because they can, they can launch into it right off the bat. They don't have to go through any kind of testing processes. They don't have to prove anything when they put it on the market. So these things go out on the market, and then when bad things happen, that's when the FDA steps in and and goes, no, listen, we can't, we can't do that. Can I say something? Sure. Okay. Um, I, I try to read the tiny little print that flashes before your eyes mm -hmm. as fast as I can, and if you look at any of those things, it says, if you can catch it, the average weight loss is like two pounds over a month. And it also says, along with an along with exercise and program. Exercise. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The key. Yeah. It's funny how those two words come up in yeah. those situations. And so, there's some other ones. There's the juicer, the, the, the vegetable pills. They got the, kind of the, the vegetable supplements. You get all your daily vitamins of uh, vegetables in there. Or like the V8 juices and things like that. But that's... Eating something doesn't help you lose weight. It's really the not eating of things <laughs> that helps you lose weight. Really? So, so, I knew I learned something. <laughs> so it's actually the, um, the, the, I guess the, the dairy council or whatever, they, uh, they launched into a program like it was last year or something. They said if you, if you drink, no. like, if you drink like, th like three glasses of milk a day, you'll lose weight. And they actually had to take that off because no. drinking milk doesn't help you lose weight. It's, it's not eating the other food instead of the milk. So it's, it's cutting something out. If you just add milk to your diet, yeah. you won't lose weight. And so they had, to, they had to kind of back off on that campaign there. I mean, milk is, milk is good. It's a, pretty, it's a fairly balanced food. It's good stuff. But it can't help you lose weight. Uh, only the magical exercise equipment. I love all these. All the, all, the, all, the, all the different gizmos that are out there. I mean, there's so many different kinds. All the, the cardio mm -hmm. machines, things like that. And I'm not against having some of those. You gotta use them though. Yes, yes, that's work. the big trick. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> the only thing really magical about these exercise machines is really how much clothes they can hold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right, how, how much clothes you can fit on. It's, it's truly magical how much. <laughs> <laughs> so when I talk to people about buying exercise equipment and stuff, I would say if you're exercising now and really going for it and doing lots of stuff, and you want to enhance that, that's a good time to buy exercise equipment. If you think the exercise equipment is going to provide you with some sort of motivation to, to, to get up and do something, it's not. It's going to sit there and, and you know, look at it. And I'll do it later, and then later come up and be like, God, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. I'm not going to do that. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And then the clothes get on. And you forget it's even there. It just looks like a good pile of clothes. <laughs> so, so those are not the biggest factors for losing weight.